Welcome to my Idaho cabin Where the elk and deer run free Welcome to my Idaho cabin Hope you spend a little time with me Hi everybody, this is Rick. Welcome to my Idaho cabin. Today I'm going to give you another good reason to buy a rotisserie chicken at your favorite grocery store because we're going to make tostadas. We're going to make chicken tostadas. So uh, a lot of fun, great eating, and another Mexican dish that just the whole family will really like. So stick around, I'll show you how I make them. This is a Mexican instant read thermometer. It is an uncoated wooden spoon. When you heated the oil to what you think is the correct temperature, stick the handle of the spoon into the oil. You should see small bubbles coming from the bottom of the handle. If you do, the oil is at the correct temperature. So here's how you make the tortillas for the tor tostadas. Slip the tortilla into the oil carefully and then press it down to the bottom of the skillet with a spatula. Hold it in that position for about a minute and then turn the tortilla over and press it down again to the on the other side. Let it cook another minute on that side. Then turn it over two more times and uh, it should be uh, should stay flat. Then you can let it float and toast until you get it to the desired uh, color that you want for your uh, tostada. This is to show how you turn the tostada over and uh, then press it back down to the bottom of the skillet, hold it down there, and uh, cook on on second side. Once the tostada has stopped bubbling, that means it's just about done. You might want to leave it in the oil for a little bit longer to brown it up a little bit, but that's up to you. So when you get it finished, uh, just Turn it against the side of the uh, skillet like this and let it drain a little bit. And then pull it out and put it on some paper towels to uh, uh, drain. Now you see how flat and nice that is? No bubbles and just make a perfect bottom for a tostada. Here are some uh, tostadas that uh, have been uh, cooked. See how nice and flat they are? Those are going to be really good to put the... Uh, uh, refried beans on there and as the good base for your uh, tostada. So hope you uh, learned something here and I uh, hope you give it a try. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, build a tostada. So you take a fried tortilla and you put some Mexican mayonnaise aka refried beans, warm refried beans on the tostada and uh, smooth it out all the way to the edge. Get it nice and smooth. Okay, once you have the uh, refried beans on the tostada, now you want to put whatever protein you're using. In this case, it's uh, rotisserie chicken that's been shredded. You could use machaca, shrimp, whatever you want, whatever you have. Now you can put lettuce on top of that if you want. I chose not to. So I'm going to just go with uh, pico de gallo right now. Put that on there. As much or as little as you want. And then we're going to put, of course, some guacamole. So we'll spread that out. A couple of dollops ought to do it. And then as a final touch, we'll put some sour cream on there. Now you could put uh, hot sauce on there if you want. But uh, as far as I'm concerned right now, it's good to go. So there is one fine, delicious tostada. So you're really going to enjoy this, and I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tostadas are a lot of fun and a great summertime meal. Easy to make, and... Uh, Another good use for a chicken, a rotisserie chicken that you get at your local supermarket. Uh, remember, you can buy the uh, tortillas already, uh, already done 
at your market, but they're not as good or they're not as flat uh, as the way that I sh I'm showing you in the video. So uh, if you want to make them yourself, go for it. Get some uh, about six inch corn tortillas and uh, go ahead and make them yourself. I think you'll, you'll like the results a little bit better. And as always, the recipe is right down here. And uh, the like, uh, dislike, the comment button and everything, the subscribe button is over here. I'd really appreciate uh, you'd, if you'd subscribe and uh, leave me a comment or two. I like to read them. So uh, anyway, thanks again for watching this video. And again, this is Rick at My Idaho Cabin. Welcome to my auto cabin Where the elk and deer run free Welcome to my auto cabin Thanks for spending time